the Sam Lucia Luchador Loco, which is a Perfecto. That's what I'm smoking today at the Stogie Palace. This is a uh, 6 by 58 It's, I was going to say it's the first Perfecto I've ever smoked, but a couple days ago I actually smoked the same one. That was the first ever Perfecto I've ever smoked. So, um, go ahead and get this thing lit up. As you notice, the Perfectos have a narrower end there. This one here, for some reason, cracked there on the end. Not really sure why. It's an, it was perfect the day I smoked it at the shop with Sam Lucia, as a matter of fact. And, oh, yeah, it smells really good already. And this is a 6 by 58, so 6 inches by 58 ring gauge. <laughs> that is a lot of smoke. So yeah, I bought this at a cigar shop at an event where Sam Lassie was at and he was rolling some cigars and we chatted for a while. So this has not been sitting in my humidor very long, but it was, it was close to perfect the day I smoked it. I wasn't really worried about it. A couple days later, uh, you know, not waiting a month like some of the other cigars I've been doing. Uh, let's see, I, uh, the question I had for Sam there was, I've heard other uh, manufacturers and blenders say that they blended a particular line of cigars based on a certain size, like a lot of them will blend for the Toro, and that might be what they, the, the closest you're going to get to what they meant when they made that. And he said that too, <clears throat> but when I went to go buy some after talking to him, he suggested trying the Perfecto which is bigger than I usually like. Um, if it's a strong cigar, I try to go smaller to not wallop me and to not take up too much time. And I go, well, why not? Never had a Perfecto. Shape is kind of cool, kind of old school. That's what I got. Loved it. It was terrific. Robusto is usually, or Corona are usually my size. And I did buy a couple Robustos of this and I may review that later, but I assume it's probably not a lot different. The thing I really enjoyed about this, and I assume this one will be the same, is that didn't have to relight it, put off a lot of smoke, drew really well, all the things I'm looking for. And it's got the San Andreas uh, wrapper, which is of course my favorite. Peppery, for sure. There's some strength in there, and I recall the middle third really having some strength to it. But by the time I was down towards the end, all that had kind of faded away, and I was able to leave the smoke shop feeling just fine. Didn't feel the nicotine buzz. I was really impressed with that cigar, and I still am. Stronger than I remember, but you know what? Um, I was drinking root beer. Something cold, something sweet. Root beer is a nice uh, thing to pair with. So, like I said, wrapper San Andreas. The binder is Ecuadorian Habano. The filler is a whole bunch. It's a Pennsylvania Lajero, Honduras Lajero, Nicaraguan, and Ometepe. Omotepe is a little island in uh, the lake there in Nicaragua. I think it's the, the only volcanic island on a freshwater lake or something about it, but it, it apparently it makes some unique tobacco on that little island. So keep on smoking this. It's terrific. I'm telling you right now, this is a really good cigar. And I'm not saying that because I just met Sam Lucia. Um, I went in there knowing what this was and that it would probably be right up my wheelhouse and I was not disappointed when I was smoking it there at the event. So we'll talk a little bit more about it as I get it further down and uh, see if this one holds up the same as the one a few days ago. I'm sure it will. Mm, about a half inch, inch in, <clears throat> inch inward. and. It's dry out here, no doubt. It's 20% humidity. So that may explain the cracking that went on there, but it doesn't seem to be hurting it. And I'm thinking and hoping that right about there, it's gonna probably stop. It's, it's caught up and tried to fix itself. I haven't done any touch-ups. Loving it. This is a really nice cigar. Hey, 
Hey, guess what time it is? Time for the waft. Hopefully I don't waft ashes right onto me. Wow. Love that San Andreas and whatever else is in here. Definitely don't want to get on this shirt. It spells it out the way it is. Legend since 1964. <laughs> anyway, go a little bit further on this. Feeling the strength, that's okay. It's not, not too bad. Partly because I didn't take a sip of the nice cool root beer and I have a, a flask here of something. I don't know what it is, whiskey of some kind or single malt. So let's keep going, see uh, what happens. Moving right along, actually not a lot further from the last check-in, just want to give you a, a little perspective why I like cigars. And this cigar has a lot to do with uh, what I'm talking about because I like these um, boutique, actually I like even cigars that are made by big manufacturers like the La Gloria Cubana is, a, is made by a massive company, General uh, Cigar. But I like these little companies too and I like these individuals like Sam Lucia, uh, there's a whole bunch of others. I'm not going to name them all because I know I'll forget one. But it was cool to meet him because for me, cigars are a lot like uh, tequila, where, you know, there's a lot of heritage involved and, you know, uh, it's, it's really hard to explain. But uh, just the craft of it, the, the care they put into it, all handmade. Tequila shares a lot of those properties too. Even though there's massive uh, manufacturers of tequila, there's also, you know, some really good tequilas that are uh, sold in big numbers that are still made the old-fashioned way. Like I'm thinking uh, Don Julio, for instance, one of my favorite tequilas. And cigars fit into that same grouping for me, where these people are really passionate about what they're doing, and they're more than happy to share that passion with you, meet you, and tell you what they were thinking, and and. Um, when I was watching Sam Lucia roll cigars, I saw him do something that's kind of interesting. I wish I would have tried one of the cigars, but I already was enjoying the one I had, was that he had some cigars that were just the uh, binder and the filler in, into a you know pre-made cigar interior, and he had a wrapper, and he was sprinkling um, pipe tobacco on the wrapper and then wrapping it all together into one. Wish I would have got one. That would probably have been interesting. Pretty cool to try out. But it's just that... That whole way that it is with cigars that I think is really cool. Um, why it's growing popular right now, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because of that, because I really like microbrews too, and that was coming on the scene here in Colorado about 20 years ago. Um, it's, it's massive now all over the country, all over the world. But uh, back then it wasn't so big, and it was that was cool too. People getting really inventive with their blends, <coughs> excuse me, their blends of beer in that case, or, um, you know, picking up all the different notes, you know, from the tequila. I don't know about the flavored vodka kick. Uh, you know, my wife really likes that, but um, it's okay in some mixed drinks, but it's, I don't know, I'm more into the old style of everything, really. <laughs> so getting to meet different blenders of cigars and their passion and all that, really cool. That's why I like it so much. And it helps that, um, you know, the relaxing. Like I said, you get introspective. Why do you think I made a, a YouTube channel about videos about cigars? <laughs> it's not just cigars on here, but it's mostly that. Um, because, you know, sit back, relax, think about things, enjoy what you're smoking, thinking about what went into it. All the, you know, you hear about two, three hundred hands that went into the making of this. Sorry, that's just cool. I don't see how you, you can't think it's cool. So, totally unlike cigarettes. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, not impressed by those. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the getting introspective part of the video. Let's get back to smoking and I will check in a little bit further down. The burn, a little wavy there, but it hasn't caused an issue. It's putting off plenty of smoke, still good flavors, terrific aroma. Loving it. So we'll check in a little bit later. So, look at that. All the issues I had earlier with the uneven burn, maybe even a little canoeing, completely fixed itself. No touch up. 
when I was talking to Sam Lassie about the cigar, I was about this far into it, and I go, you know, why is it so difficult for some blenders, manufacturers, whatever, to make a cigar that never, that doesn't go out, that just gives off plenty of smoke? Why is it so tough? Not that this is an issue with this one. That's what I liked about it, is that it stayed lit, put off lots of smoke. Even though it's a bigger cigar than I normally smoke, it's going fairly quickly. And it's also delivering quite a bit of nicotine. <laughs> Um, so this one's turned out exactly as the first one I tried out, so I'm, I'm glad about that. And I'm about second, moving into the final third, getting close to the band point. Great looking band too. You know, it won't focus very well on here probably, but it's cool. It's got Sam's signature on there. It's got, of course, the luchador mask on there. Sam Lucia. what it says there. Luchador is what it said there. So, loving it. Not knocking it hardly at all. Those little burn issues aside. Great. Look at, all, look at all that smoke coming off of there. You may not see it as well as I'm seeing it, but it's definitely there. Whew. This is nice. So, Keep on going past the band point and see how it ends up. I'm pretty confident I know where it's going to end up because the way I've scored before other cigars that I put right up there with this one, it's right up there near the top. Tell you that, it's great. Definitely going to be getting more of these. Problem is, I got so many more of all these other kinds, all these five packs that I've got, and friends sending more. Um, it's great. So let's keep going. All right, well, here I'm gonna wrap it up. The Sam Lucia, Lucia Luchador Loco, the Perfecto, ends up with a score of 96. Definitely puts it in some good company there. It canoed a couple times and it's kind of canoeing again there. I did touch it up once, but uh, the good thing about Perfectos is how they taper down making the band removal quite easy and there is the cool band slides right off and um, got some strength for sure you know what helps with that like I said something cold and sweet to drink also some candy <laughs> love these things these reason things they got uh, chocolate and caramel and pairs nicely with the cigar so thanks for watching this has been Chris at the Stogie Palace digging this luchador um, be interesting to see how the uh, the uh, robusto uh, performs compared to the perfecto. Love that wrapper. Peppery at times, smooth throughout, great aroma. Love it. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. <laughs>